Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Halloween Top 10. Hey, that's right. Today we're going to look at the top 10 Halloween decks of this year or, you know, surrounding years. Uh, uh, if you know uh, or have watched my channel in the past, uh, I've done other Halloween uh, top 10s. I did a top 13 uh, one time. So I was just going through my decks, you know, a couple days ago and just trying to briefly find maybe what are some of the top 10 spooky or Halloween themed uh, decks for this year or, like I said, surrounding years. And uh, so let's get on into it. Number 10, the Magician's Anonymous cards. Uh, the Magician Anonymous playing cards were designed and developed as a tribute to the theatrical and mysterious side of magic. These were made by the United States Playing Card Company and they have a luxurious magic finish so they flow in your hands. The haunting yet iconic back design will resonate with everyday workers and card collectors and it includes a blank face, a double back, and custom headless jokers. <laughs> Number nine, the Alan Rorison Sinners. Uh, Sinners were printed by the United States Playing Card Company, and they bring a touch of the Masonic to the playing card world. From start to finish, uh, it took Alan Rorison over a year to get this deck to the finished results, and the deck is full of, like I said, Masonic symbolism and imagery. There's a ghostly green gaff card, and uh, the all-seeing eye and jokers that depict the original sin. Number eight, the Steeplechase cards from Penguin Magic. Uh, these cards were designed by Jared Hansen for Penguin Magic, and the Steeplechase deck is a tribute to Coney Island's original and longest running amusement park. Now, the back design is wildly creepy and vaudevillian, and it makes it a perfect deck for Halloween. Number seven, the Killer Bee deck from Illusionist and Oban Jones. All right, so the killer bees are the mutant hybrid of the timid European honeybees and their African cousins. And just like all superhero stories, the killers are then introduced to Brazil by mad scientists to help repopulate their diminishing bee population, but no one could contain them. And you know what? This is a no-brainer. I mean, first, uh, there's a tombstone on one of the jokers, and it's got the word killer in the title. Hello. Number six, the Wasteland deck from Jackson Robinson. Uh, Jackson Robinson had uh, this deck of cards inspired by the story and characters of the video game Wasteland 2. It was a Kickstarter project and it's a veritable rogues gallery of monsters, nuns with guns, and disturbing babies make this an excellent qualifier. Number five, the Revelation deck from Deckstarter. Now you might remember uh, Deckstarter, it was kind of like a URL website that was uh, made to promote and uh, give attention to new designers that wanted to do decks of cards, kind of like Kickstarter, but only for decks of cards. Um, the Revelation deck is two colors. It's crimson and black. Uh, crimson as blood, black as iron. This deck is inspired by the medieval Nidaros Cathedral in Norway. Uh, Revelation is a hand-illustrated deck of playing cards featuring gothic details from the catacombs and beautiful stained glass ornamentations. Oh, and did I mention it's covered in skulls and skeletons? a tribute to the Norwegian royalty still resting in the catacombs. Number four, the Darkfall playing cards from Jason Brumbelow. Uh, these cards were designed by Jason Brumbelow and they were hand illustrated by Abraham Garcia. The Darkfall playing cards are a dark and brooding deck filled with steampunk and gothic art. From the black crows on the back to the gas mask jokers and ghostly courts, Darkfall is sure to make your bed bugs bite. All right, number three, Carpe Noctum from Chris Ramsey. Uh, the Carpe Noctum deck is a celebration of the flower that blooms for no one. It's inspired by the night blooming Cereus, one of the strangest and most beautiful plants of the desert. The Carpe Noctum deck unveils its true beauty only after dark. So, dark black deck plus creepy flower equals top 10 Halloween decks. Sure, why not? Number two, Memento Mori from Chris Ramsey. Uh, Memento Mori, uh, it means remember your mortality, and it's steaming from the medieval Latin theory and practice of uh, having one's reflection on their mortality. It has been a ubiquitous part of human culture for centuries, from the philosophical to the artistic, 
the fascination, fear, and appreciation of death has consistently captivated and cultivated our imagination. And many practitioners of this theory kept with them artifacts or keepsakes which served as a reminder that the only thing certain in life is death and taxes. And number one, the Halloween deck from Natalia Silva and Penguin Magic. Hey, we got to put the Halloween deck as number one. Halloween is every magician's favorite holiday. In each card face has a unique piece of Halloween themed art ranging from bats to skeletons to candy corn. The unique diptych jokers combine together to form one beautiful piece of art while the back design perfectly captures the mood of the spooky season. All right, so that is it. Your top 10 Halloween decks of 2016 and surrounding years. And I hope you enjoyed this top 10. Keep tuning back for more reviews of magic, cards, and just whatever tickles my fancy. Happy Halloween, everybody.